<laughs> Monday, February 27th, uh, 2017. Uh, this weekend was kind of a bust. <laughs> I started getting sick on Friday, and I was just out of it on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so I didn't exercise or do comics. I just basically laid around. Did I just call in sick to 100 Days of Making Comics? Not good. <laughs> I did attempt to draw some comics this weekend, and it just, I, I psyched myself out. That's not good, and I was ready to psych myself out today again, but um, 100 days is a long time, and I've still got quite a ways to go, and I can do quite a bit of work. So, uh, just because I screwed up a couple days doesn't mean it's the end of everything. <laughs> this is a lifetime journey. There's no giving up. Just stumbling every once in a while. Today's going to be a busy day, though. Uh, I've got... I'm about to go to work. Um, and uh, i got class tonight. So it's going to be a long day today. But a good one. Even though I wasn't feeling well this weekend, Amber and I went, had a date night on Saturday. We'd been planning on it for a couple weeks. I didn't want to cancel just because I was feeling run down and congested. And it was really amazing. I caught up and reconnected. You gotta do that every once in a while when you're when you're married. Dates are important. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, we found out that a friend of ours had passed away. She was killed by a drunk driver on Saturday morning. It was from, from back home in Lubbock. Her name's Maggie Ray Davidson. Some people might know her from DeviantArt. It's heartbreaking. She was only 30 years old. Felt like she was just getting started with her career. I'm really good friends with her parents. And I can't even imagine, because they loved her so much. I can't imagine how heartbreaking that would be. Life is short. Don't waste it. I'm still at work, but I'm headed home for lunch. Amber has uh, a dentist appointment, so I'm on daddy duty. What's this? Mm -hmm. Slime. Does he like it? He, he's not used to it. Amber made homemade slime for Emmett. It's for Emmett. I just put Emmett down for a nap. Uh, I think it's safe to say that he likes the desk. <laughs> it's not bad. It was like 30 bucks on Amazon. We'll see how, how long it lasts. Uh, hopefully he doesn't stand on it too much. If he's anything like I was as a kid, he'd probably use it to climb up on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> i tell you what, I really like having a son. I like having a kid. There's a lot of things in this world right now that I would probably be much more upset of or depressed about if uh, I didn't have this constant ball of joy to remind me that there's more to life. Thinking about my friend Maggie that passed away this weekend. Uh, she was her own person. Nobody could ever tell her what to do. <laughs> she fiercely independent, upbeat and positive and always making everybody's day better. Um, she was definitely one of the good ones. My heart goes out to her parents. I can't even imagine. I'm so sorry. 
I've had quite a few friends pass away lately. I guess I'm hitting that age. I'm a pretty boring person. I've never really changed. I still pretty much dress the same way I did in high school. I still act pretty much the same way I did in high school. One thing that I am really glad of is that I've always been kind, or at least tried to be. Because I, I knew, I've always known, even as a little kid, that this is all temporary. Everything is temporary. My job is temporary. My family is temporary. Nothing lasts forever. The only things that matter in this world are how you make people feel. My Angelou, she said, nobody will remember what you said. Nobody will remember what you did. But they always remember how you made them feel. So think about that today as you go out. Think about it every day as you go out. How do you want to make people feel today? Do you want to be positivity? Do you want to be joy? Do you want to make people stay a little bit better? Do that, even if you don't feel like it. Because nothing else matters. <laughs> nothing. All right, Amber's almost here. I need to clean up the mess I made. <laughs> Got to get back to work. And then comics class tonight. I'm excited. It's going to be good. I just got home from class. It was pretty good class tonight. Uh, it was kind of small. A few people weren't able to make it, which uh, which meant we got to spend a little of extra time uh, pitching our stories. I, I was still feeling a little bit confused on what I was going to pitch today because uh, I don't really have my autobio comic nailed down just yet, but a muscle. I feel like that's what I want to do is a, is a short story autobio comic. But luckily Jim had us pitch, had me pitch both of my stories in class since we had extra time. Uh, it was really helpful. It was nice being able to talk it all out, get it out of my head and just kind of talk through the story points. Uh, even though, even the story I'm not quite certain on, you know, the autobio stuff, uh, I don't really have a clear idea on it. So it was nice to just be able to talk it out. And he agreed that the the bigger story, the one that I'm like really passionate about, uh, is one I should probably hold off on and not try and squeeze it into a short story. I should let it just be its own, like like a series, like a comic book series. Um, but he got a good response, so it's definitely something I should hold on to and come back to. Um, and the class seemed to agree that um, the auto bio's a way to go and. Uh, I kind of talked through and f nailed down what I want to say because that's that's a real trick with doing short stories is you don't have enough time to like um, go into really deep themes and all kind of exposition and background characters. You don't have time for that. With a short story, you only have one thing to say and everything in that story is supposed to reinforce that one message that you're trying to tell with the story. So you get rid of all the extra stuff that's really cool details, but don't belong uh, with that message. <clears throat> Once you figure out what that message is, it really simplifies everything. You can say no to really cool ideas uh, and just focus on those things that make your message much more meaningful. So it was nice. I feel like I, you know, I kind of stumbled onto the heart of my story and uh, the rest of it should be pretty easy. Like I've, you know, I've got plenty to say. It's easy. You hear me ramble on videos all the time. I got lots to talk about, but uh, finding a point, that's the, <laughs> that's the crucial part. So that was good. It was good. It was a good class. I cannot, and I can't wait to hear what, uh, you know, see these other artists in the class, see what kind of stories they come up with. It's good. You should check out Jim's website. It's uh, newsuit.com. He used to be an editor at DC and uh, he's been teaching for a long time. He's taught all over, you know, all over New York and all, uh, here in California. He taught at CalArts for a while. Uh, and if you've been in the LA area, he's taught several of these comics classes at um, Meltdown Comics in Hollywood. Also, one last thing before I end this video. Um, so today, this morning, I forgot that I auto-scheduled 
the first video to post. And it's a good thing I auto scheduled it because uh, I probably would have forgotten otherwise. Um, and I was feeling a little bit like I don't know if I don't know if people are gonna like these videos, which is usually a good sign that people probably will like the videos if I'm feeling insecure and vulnerable. Uh, it's always that way. It's just. <laughs> Anyways, so the video auto posted and I woke up this morning with just like this long stream of comments of like people saying thank you and so much how much they're glad that I'm doing videos again and that they missed me. And uh, it was like waking up to a, a nice big warm group hug. You guys are incredible. And this is a week after that first video posted. Um, but I just wanted to tell you that. I just got all your messages and you guys are incredible. So thanks for making my day <laughs> and I will do my best to keep making these videos. So thanks for watching and I hope everybody's doing well. Keep smiling.